I have something fun to show you today. It's very unique and it's weather resistant and secure for your little dog. Are you interested in a small dog with big personality who's almost a non-shedder? How about a dog who is the perfect little companion you can take everywhere, lovable, adorable, cuddly, and loves you with all their little heart? Would you like to learn about the Chi Chi breed from an owner's experience? Then this channel is for you. We are building this DIY project for Kaya's new potty place in our garage. I've done a video in the past about a potty pad outside. It was used before by my mini schnauzer and my Chi Chi, Kaya, both. And it worked fine except for one problem. Our first problem was weather. Most of us that have small dogs understand that they tend to shy away from lightning, thunder, rain, cold, and snow. Kaya is mostly bothered by the rain, snow, and cold, which we get a lot of here in Colorado. So those weather days were always a problem for us. She's a good girl and she'd go out and use the potty. Always had to stand at the door and watch to make sure she didn't just give up because she was cold or wet, turn around and run right back in the house without ever having gone. And here it is. This is the Avatuvan, I guess is how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. This is the brand that I bought. This is actually a rabbit hutch. And I bought it for Kaya to have a safe place that was weather resistant to go potty in. We had trained Kaya on to use a string of bells hanging on the sliding glass door. This is how she would let us know she wanted to go out. She's pretty clever and she realized that those bells got our attention. So she started using them for other purposes, like to go out and smell the air, to see what the neighbors were doing, to get a drink out of the outside bowl on the patio rather than the inside bowl, to sit on the patio furniture, or just to look out there and see if she could see or smell any rabbits. Well, you get the idea. We were jumping up and down all the time trying to answer that bell, especially in the evening when we were trying to watch TV and wanted to just sit there and rest and relax. Isn't that right? As a remedy to this problem, I thought we could just put something in the garage. Problem number three was that in order to access this potty place that I was dreaming up, from inside the laundry room, she's going in now, um, it needed to be tall enough so that she could go from the laundry room floor and directly in the potty place. So that's what led me to this hutch. But before I continue, I have to admit that I didn't come up with this idea by myself. I was inspired by my brother-in-law, Alan, who lives in Kansas City, Kansas. He built a small rabbit hutch in their garage that is accessed through a door similar to this that is used by their two cats in their laundry room. I thought it did a good job of keeping the cat box smells down in their house. The instructions for this hutch were easy to follow and understand, and it was easy to build. It took us about an hour to assemble. I chose this model because it addressed all the problems and was highly rated and reasonably priced on Amazon, especially as a Prime member, which made the shipping free. I've attached a link to this hutch and to the Prime membership in the description below for your convenience if you would like to look it up and possibly purchase. I do, however, recommend two people for construction so that one can hold the wall square as the roof and the walls are all being attached. Here's an important tip that you want to keep in mind. After you build the hutch, push it against the wall like we have. And in order to do that, we had to cut part of the roof off, the overhang here, so that it would fit flush against the wall. Make sure the doggy door is installed high enough so that the door flap doesn't get hung on the grass or the screen or the tray as your dog exits. This will help keep any odor from entering your home. This bottom shelf 
was actually supposed to be the top shelf. But we quickly realized the hole here that's cut out for a rabbit to go down this ramp through the hole to get to this bottom area was just too small for Caius. If we tried to alter the hole size, it would cause urine leakage and render the shelf unusable. So our solution was to perform some small tweaks to the construction of the rabbit hutch. We began by switching the front panels. This gave more airflow at the top where the potty pad would be and allowed Kaya to look out. We switched the shelves around. We had to remove the screws attaching the back plate just like this one on the back of the drawer. And we used that back plate to screw the rails into that we use to support the drawer. Since this drawer wasn't intended to be the top drawer, we had to add some small L bracket to hold the screen so that we could move the drawer independently of the screens. And that way, she can be on potty grass, which she's used to using. As needed, the potty grass can be hosed off and placed back on the screen. As an alternative, you can keep sections of the fake grass that are cut to size to replace the older, soiled ones. Or you could use potty pads in place of grass. I use the bottom half of the hutch to hold doggy treats, tools to clean the litter and plastic bags. This hutch is approved by the manufacturer for outdoor use and in fact it has a sturdy roof with roofing material. This rabbit hutch can also be used on an upstairs or ground level deck in your home or apartment. The other night Kaya had diarrhea and we had her in bed with us but she kept jumping up and all through the night and asking to go potty. So we finally just put her in the laundry room on her little bed. This was perfect for us because it allowed her to go in and out as she needed and not keep us up half the night taking her up and down the stairs for her emergency potty visits. I wanted to give you some additional helpful hints for puppies. If I were starting Kaya, right now as an eight week old puppy, I would probably train her just to use the litter. That way you could eliminate both the grass and the screen underneath. But I don't think this method would work for Kaya now because I trained her using potty grass and she likes the way it feels under her paws. And when Kaya was a puppy, and even today at 19 months old, she still has a tendency to eat almost anything that strikes her fancy. She eats lots of things, like tissue paper, newspaper, magazines, or even trash she finds at, on our walks or in a parking lot or on the street. If she took a fancy to eating cat litter, that would almost certainly cause a big problem in her intestines and clog her up which would require a very expensive veterinary hospital procedure. I want to let you know it is possible to litter train a small dog, making this hutch a perfect solution for you. And it would still serve to keep your dog safe from incoming vehicles into your garage or other animals on your back patio and it would keep the weather out. As always, if you've enjoyed this video and you found value in it, I ask that you will give me a thumbs up, possibly make a comment, and certainly subscribe and hit the bell so that you are notified every time a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.